dangerous stretch of road and sadly it claims a new victim two months into this year and a second person struck and killed on 82nd Avenue in Portland. So these deaths come less than a week after the Portland Bureau of Transportation announced one of the first major projects aimed at addressing safety on that high crash corridor. Brandon Thompson digging deeper into the changes and how dangerous 82nd Avenue really is. Well, we checked our records and in the last 10 months, four pedestrians have been killed. Five people total. Now, here's the stretch of 82nd Avenue that will be addressed. Two projects, first Fremont Street, south to Schuyler Street, and then Mill Street down to Foster Road. And if you look at this, you could also see where the five people have died. Those are these dots right here. None of them in the project areas that Peabot is starting off on. And I'm told all of the projects to fix 82nd, it could take more than a decade. For the neighborhoods along 82nd Avenue, the most dangerous road in our neighborhood, the problems with the high traffic, high crash corridor are clear. It is not a safe place to walk. It's not a safe place to cross right now. A pedestrian was killed just after two this morning, the second death so far this year on the road, the fourth pedestrian killed since April and the fifth person killed in those 10 months. That's compared to 14 killed from 2012 to 2021. 75 people were killed on all of Portland's roads in 2023 a 40 year high. We're in a public crisis right now for like traffic violence. Losing the life feels like we haven't done enough up until this point. Police are still searching for the driver that killed the man this morning. It comes as last week Peabot announcing the first two and a half miles of safety improvements to the six mile stretch it oversees on 82nd. It includes two safer street crossings, more lighting, better street markings and stoplights. Change can't come soon enough for 82nd Avenue. The first round of changes expected to cost $55 million of American Rescue Plan funds that had to be spent by 2026. And we're thrilled that the money has to be spent so quickly so that they can start going on that. The rest of the money Peabot has, $185 million, was given by ODOT when it transferred the highway to Portland in 2022. But Loeb, who is on the Citizen Advisory Committee, says to truly transform the former highway, more money is likely needed. But we have other projects down the road that are going to take a decade or more to come to fruition. That's a little hard for people because we've needed this change for a long time. So police ask anyone or who saw or knows anything about the man who was hit and killed by a hit and run driver to contact police. Now police or Peabot that is actually holding neighborhood meetings on these changes coming up. Those will happen in the next few weeks. And by those drawings, they're talking about some major changes with traffic islands, better marked crosswalks, and just to improve lighting out yeah. there. That area is just so dark at night out here. And that is one of the priorities outside of those two areas. Peabot says that they are addressing lighting on all of 82nd right, all right. now.